much fun. I can play those things all day. Welcome back to the greatest music channel in the world, where I write a song like your favorite artist. It's me, the great and powerful Whitney. In today's video, I'm gonna be writing a song like Cigarettes After Sex, an American dream pop band from El Paso, Texas. Now for today's instruments, we're gonna be tracking some real drums on the new kit. Electric guitar, electric guitar bass, some keyboards, and some vocals. But before we do all that, we've gotta come up with a song. All right, so for sure, Cigarettes After Sex, this song reminds me a lot of Mazzy Star, um, Fade Into You. Very similar chords. It's just, I think theirs is a little bit, uh, Cigarettes After Sex is a little bit faster. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in the same key, but it sounds like it could be. I've been wrong before. But we're going to go ahead and stick with the key that I'm most comfortable with um, because my vocal range can't go too low, but it also can't go too high. So I'm going to go ahead with the D major. And I already have some chord progressions in my head that I want to do. That's what I'm going to go with. Da, 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 da. Or maybe, hold on. Da, da, da. Something like that, right? We need like a pre-chorus or something like an introduction to the chorus. So... Okay, I think I got it. So pre-chorus could be... E minor to an A major. Back to a D major. then we could go back to one or back to the uh, intro. So the chords there, first of all, the chords for the verses I'm playing are D major to an A minor to a C major to a G major. And then I just play that about six times. So if we're talking about structure, the way I would do it sometimes is I would go ahead and play the main riff six times. So two times without vocals, and then I'll leave four times around for uh, a verse. So it would go like... That's one. Now we're going to start with the verse, right?
So that's uh, basically the idea. I'm going to go ahead and record the reference track, and that way I can record the drums and the other instruments as we usually do. Now I feel most comfortable starting my mixes off with the drums, specifically the kick, and then the snare, and then the overheads. And then I'll go ahead and create an effects rack uh, for the drum group. And now I'll go ahead and make the following adjustments for the bass, which would consist of compression, EQ, saturation, the uh, Maserati B72, and that's pretty much about it. Oh yeah, and also a glue compressor, which I use as a sidechain. And now we move on to the guitar. So first things first, I throw in a compressor. And then I drop in an EQ, and I take out some of the low end. Because that's where our bass and our drums are going to be sitting. We want to make space for each instrument. Now another trick I like to do is I like to duplicate my rhythm guitar and then I pan both hard right, hard left. Usually the one on the right side, I put a little bit more reverb on it and just lower it a tad. Because by duplicating them naturally, the volume is going to go up on the guitars. And that's just to make it sound more fuller in the mix. For the slide guitar, I'd do similar adjustments, uh, choosing uh, which frequencies fit best. And then I'll go ahead and top it off with some reverb to kind of just make it nice and smooth in the mix. And I'll pan it a little bit to the right. And now for the vocals, I'll do similar adjustments, of course, um, as follows. Compression, EQ, saturation, and then I would go ahead and top it off with some reverb just to smooth things out as we did with the slide guitar. And then we'll just keep those vocals center. Next to nothing, uh... Moving on to the uh, keyboards, um, I would do your, uh, you know, your fundamental adjustments and then I would add a few more effects for example I would add in a uh, vocal synth 2 uh, from isotope to widen the keyboards and then I would add some uh, reverb to make it nice and creamy and I'd also throw in a uh, glue compressor to use as a sidechain so after letting my ears rest for about, I don't know, 14 to 16 hours, I made a few more minor adjustments, and, uh, and yeah, this is what I pretty much ended up with.
And that's gonna be a wrap for today, folks. Now you're probably wondering why the videos are getting shorter, why I'm not showing the whole process. Well, I'm saving it for a specific place for that, for exclusive members, which could potentially be you. More to come on that. Hey, if you found this video educational, helpful, or entertaining, tap the like button. Subscribe to Banana Labs if you're not. Hit the bell notification so you know when I post a new video like this one. You can also follow me on Instagram at Banana Labs on YouTube. I wanna thank you guys for supporting the greatest music channel in the world where I write a song like your favorite artist. It's me, the great and powerful Willie. Come here, boy! Come here!